Good afternoon, Mr. Zimmer. Good afternoon, classmates. This pause is to talk about the last conference um, presented by the Dr. Carlos Gauhel, um, talking about soil water, uh, water table. And firstly, he defined the, 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 the soil as this medium of filter in which we can find the water table. And the water table is this quantity of water that moves upward of the soil. Because as we know, um, when after some rain falls, we got some quantity of water that are moving up down. But this one that are moving at the opposite side, like upward, is called the water table. And it is a very important term, um, especially when we are talking about water conservation. And it came to me an idea when, for example, we are feeding some alternatives, some options to do, to, that we have to conserve water in Samoano. Uh, most of the time, I've always considered as options to, to get um, um, like water um, recycled water treatment plant, uh, also making some honest campaign to avoid excessive uses. But I was wrong because the best, the best alternatives that we have to conserve water anywhere is something have to be something related to the soil because the soil is the the, the main such the, the the real such of water. So all that we have to feed about water have to be related to the soil. It was the first thing that I've learned from this conference, and the doctor talked moreover about. Um, the soil texture and the soil structure that are very important because depending on them we will define water movement in the soil. For example, a loamy soil will get water movement different from a sandy soil and the water movement is very important when we are talking about water infiltration and water permeability and those two words are different because water infiltration is like the capacity um, that a soil, when the soil is not compacted, the capacity that the soil gets to, to, to the water be infiltrated. Even that, um, at the other hand, um, water permeability is this velocity in which the, the, the water, water table moves on the soil. Those are two very distinctive words, very important when we are talking about water table. And soil structure and porosity are also some like indicators of soil development. And um, in addition to that, the doctor talked about some the color, the color of the soil that we don't have to confuse with the color of wax and minerals, even that wax and minerals are like the first factors that form the soil, that create the soil, but they got two different colors because, um, for example, um, the soil, when we got a black soil, it is like an evidence that we have a lot of organic matter in the soil. And we have, for example, the iron oxidation, when the water table is raising at the surface, we will have some mm, the, 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 the situation in which the, the, the iron is oxidized uh, at the form of if 2 or 3 and it creates another color. And we have some other colors that we can freeze, but it was only to make the difference between the color of the, of the soil and color of wax and minerals. Also, the doctor talked about water such saturated um, zone of the soil, which is when when the soil when the water in the soil is not even moving, it like it uh, and the water stays in the soil. It doesn't move at any way, and it would create some. It will destroy the redox reactions. In the soil at the surface of the soil it will destroy also the nutrients those chemical nutrients that the soil got 
to provide to the to the to the planes. And uh, at last, this the doctor mentioned some searches of underground water con contamination. And as examples, he took excessive use of pesticides in agriculture when we are just using some pesticides to fight against those insects that are very harmful for the crops. We create like certain contamination. Also, excessive use of fertilizers is very important because when we are just providing, we are just supplying to the to the plants this quantity of nutrients that they don't got themselves. So we create, we destroy also those 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 minerals, those chemicals, the chemical capacity of the soil. And, uh, the disposal of liquids, garbage dumps. It took as example here in San Pedro Sula and Tegucigalpa, the industries, the was the, the waste of those industries create some aquifer contamination that is very harmful for the environment and also the water contamination, the the the, the, the soap of fact. So um, mostly what I've learned from this great conference, I hope that we can have other conferences like this in which we can learn um, a lot um, about what we learned, what we have learned, something that we have learned here in San Juan. Good afternoon, Mr. Seymour, and good afternoon, um, classmates.